guys, this is Patrick from fine-tune-fast.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the multi-model model Llama 3.2, which actually got announced yesterday on a virtual server of um, RunPod. So first of all, we need to get access to this um, model. We basically just go to hugging phase and look for llama minus three dot two and so on. Um, and then there is a disclosure. So for people in the EU, um, the model is not available. Although I think we can just, um, yeah, fake it here by selecting a country outside of the EU. So for example, United States. Um, yeah, as I'm currently not in the EU, I can do that and yeah, continue on the tutorial. So yeah, once you ask for permission to access the model, it might take a while until they approved your request. But once you are approved, you should be able to follow my steps now. So we go to pods and community cloud. We look for something with 24 gigabytes of VRAM and not gonna use the SSH terminal, direct access, neither the Jupyter notebook. Let's check how big the actual model is. So yeah, we should go with something like 50 gigabytes just to make sure we have enough space uh, we're gonna export uh, sorry expose port 8000 and yeah we're good to deploy once your server is ready you are able to connect and start a web terminal and then also connect to the web terminal we go to our persistent um directory which is workspace you can also change that in the um, settings where we change the storage or yeah space of the vps um we then go and do a apt get update and apt get install wimp once we have done that we can basically create a server.py file and add all our server content here. So once that's done, we can basically start the server just to make sure to use a correct hugging face token here. This one is going to be revoked after creating the video. Um, we then also need to install some packages, transformers, requests, pillow, and torch, I guess. Yes, and obviously we need to install litserv. And I just recognized that it's server in my example here. So make sure you spell that correctly. And there we go. We need to install Accelerate 2. By the way, guys, in fine tune fast, like in the repository, you find a requirements file. So you can just do a pip. Um, pip install minus r requirements.txt. Like we see, it downloads the model now. So yeah, once the setup complete for worker zero shows up, our API is basically ready to go. So we go back to run pod and connect to the HTTP service to get the URL. We can then use this URL in our um, test script. The test script basically just sends the URL of the image to the API and then 
returns the answer of the large language model. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I would love to answer some comments from you if you have any um, suggestions for my videos or in general if you would like to have some kind of tutorial or features in fine-tuned fast um, I'm happy to add that as you can see on fine-tunedfast.com I add um, stuff basically on a weekly base thanks for watching